ready. Yay! Today I'm gonna teach you how to choose or take two pictures that will be edited and blended together exactly like this. And to follow along you're gonna need one, a smartphone with Snapseed installed. It works for iPhone or for Android from Google. Two, you're gonna need a base picture that can be some sort of contrasted landscape or you can use exactly the same file that I'm gonna use today, which is a shot from the Taj Mahal. The link to download it is gonna be in the description below. And three, a loved one and a picture together. I mean, if you have it. If you have it, you can skip to the editing part. But if you don't, don't worry. I'm here to help you. Just follow the steps. Write the name of your secret love on a piece of paper. Only one. Fold it. Fold it again. Burn it and go find a special place. Plant the ashes carefully. Wait. And pray. Go back. Grab a fruit. The answer will be inside. The paper reveals the number. Destiny is sealed. Now that you're ready, let's go to the editing part. Okay, so now I assume you have already the files on your smartphone, the base picture and the couple's picture. All right, so let's go, let's open up Snapseed. And wow, as you can see, it's quite intuitive. Just tap anywhere to open a photo. And the first photo we're gonna open is gonna be the Taj Mahal or the base picture that you chose here. In this case, it's a raw file. So Snapseed has a first window that is gonna allow us to develop this raw file. If you're editing a JPEG, you're not gonna see this raw symbol or this develop section here before you. You're gonna go straight to the main part of the app. So in case you're using my picture, the first thing you gotta do is hit this WB button down here, which is gonna correct the white balance that I shot completely wrong and just click auto, it's gonna already fix it for us. After all, the Taj Mahal should be white, not this yellowish, bizarre thing that I did. So now the white balance is fine, but it's too dark. So just go to the levels here on the left and exposure is already selected, just tap it to the right a little bit. All around Snapseed, the idea is always the same. If you scroll up and down, you see the menu with the options that you got about what you can change. And if you go left and right, you change that thing you chose, either decreasing or increasing. So in this case, I got exposure. And if you go to the right, we're just gonna brighten it up a little bit. In this part, I would advise you just to have the picture very well exposed and with the white balance correct. And then we can go to the next stage and we'll fix other things around there. So I'll confirm this one here. By the way, here I'm teaching the tools specifically for this picture. But if you wanna learn everything about Snapseed to be able to edit any kind of picture, I have the solution for you. Just go over right now to Skillshare, check the link in my description. You're gonna be able to get 14 days totally free of premium content, including my Snapseed Masterclass that has 13 lessons teaching everything that I know about Snapseed and everything that you need to make really, really cool edits using just your smartphone. So just get over there to Skillshare right now, sign up, and you're gonna have the two weeks totally for free with millions and millions of classes, including mine. Okay, maybe not millions, but thousands, thousands for sure. Anyway, link in the description. We're now in the main part of Snapseed. And now it's the moment to bring in our second picture. So let's just go to tools. First of all, we're gonna come to double exposure. We have the option down here to select a second picture. So what do I suggest you for the couple's picture? In general, what works best, it's something that is more or less the same color or tonality as the base picture you're using. In my case, since the Taj Mahal is quite white, a picture that has mostly white around is gonna blend a little bit better. If it's something that has a totally different color or if it's a dark picture, for example, in this one, you can see right here on the screen, for example, that it kind of like takes away all the luminosity and the style of the base picture. So try to choose two pictures that have more or less the same tonality. And regarding orientation, in this case here, I tested either horizontal and vertical pictures and I thought the vertical worked much better because it just feels that central part of the Taj. If you haven't taken a picture yet, what you can do is even take a picture at home. You can take it just against a white wall and it's gonna be perfect like that. In this first stage here, what we are worrying about is just to position the second picture well in the middle and not worry at all about these borders, these square borders around. We're gonna eliminate all of this. So you just have to position the heads in the right place in a way that also looking this picture as a whole, we can still see them. So the other controls we have here are the blending style and usually the default or the lighten are gonna be the ones that work the best. 
Okay, so now how bright this picture has to be. Just click here on this icon on the right in which you can adjust the opacity of this. And here just go to the limit where you can still see the background. We're still going to reduce the opacity a little bit more, but later. And here is gonna be like the upper limit. So just click OK. And now you're gonna see that the second picture is on top and just looks ridiculous like this. So what we're gonna do right now is just come here up to the top and we're gonna see view edits. And then you're gonna see the list of everything you've done so far. You can click double exposure and in here, you can see this small brush icon, and this is gonna allow us to edit what we did before. And as standard, what happens is, Snapseed opens the picture without this edit applied. So now we're gonna have to brush in the effect that we just chose. So down here, you're gonna see double exposure, 100, 75, 50, 25, and this is the amount of the effect that we're gonna put back in. So let's just put 100, for example. Zoom in a little bit, you can use both fingers to do that, and just brush wherever you want the couple to appear. So in my case, it's gonna be around here and I'm gonna finish off around here. I don't want it to expand into the garden, but you can do it if you want. And whenever you're brushing something on Snapseed, I really recommend you to zoom in the most you can to make it really precise. But if you make any kind of mistake, you can just tap back here down to zero, for example, and you can just pass the finger and you're gonna erase it. In my case, I think the total effect is already good enough. I don't need to reduce it a little bit. But as I said before, you still have the chance here to make it a little bit more mild. So for example, if you put it at 75% and you pass your finger on top, you're gonna see that it's a little bit more transparent than before. So it goes according to the picture that you have. But in my case, I would say that around 75 to 100, it's pretty good. So I'll just leave it a little bit stronger like this so that we can really see them well. So just brush in a little bit more of the landscape here with 75%. Okay, looks fine like this. I'll just confirm and then you can zoom out and you can see the results so far. So it's looking pretty good. And then we're gonna add in some effects now to make it even better. So just come back and then come to the tools and we're gonna go through several different tools now. So let's just go to tune image and here, if you scroll up and down, you can see everything that you can change. You can still adjust the brightness a little bit. You can just add a little bit of contrast. For me, it's looking pretty good. Uh, let's just go to the curves and I'm gonna add a little bit of a S curve here. Maybe fade a little bit the blacks by pulling it up like this. And if you're not comfortable with editing, you can just copy exactly what I'm doing here. And if the pictures are somehow similar, it is gonna work. Now let's grab the selective tool and we're gonna change a little bit the colors around here. If you click anywhere on the picture right now, it's gonna add a little ball that you can still move around and it's selecting everything that has the same color where this ball is on top. When you click on it, you can see that there's this cross so that it helps you a little bit to select what you want. And around the circle, you can see the color that is being selected. So in this case, it's green. If I pull it up here, it's gonna grab the yellow from those flowers, the red. So my idea here is, is just to reduce a little bit the distraction caused by the, all the colors in this image. And you can double tap in the zoom here to be able to see everything. I'm just gonna make it as big as possible. Drag it here more to the middle. So it's selecting all of the green in this image. And if you go to saturation, we can reduce a little bit the saturation of that green and make it a little bit easier to focus in the middle of this picture. Let's add a second one here onto the sky and I'll just bring down the saturation a little bit more also. Okay, it looks good like this. Red, orange and yellow are usually really dangerous colors because they are gonna affect the skin tones also. Now it's looking okay, done. All right, let's go back to the tools. I usually like to add a little bit of grain. And in this panel here, you can choose a style. And in this case, I chose just the first one, really the A01 in this level selector. You can still adjust the grain. So you can make it really, really grainy. This is way too much, of course. Uh, you can leave it just about here. This is totally personal preference, but I believe that this really adds a touch, adds some texture to the picture. So I really recommend it. And the style strength is gonna affect the overall color of the image. And I really like the tones on this one, but I don't like it when it's extreme like this, makes the sky too much green. So halfway around here, I find it really, really nice. Let's go back to the tools. Okay, let's go to vignette. And in outer brightness, we can add a little bit of black vignette around the picture just to call a little bit more attention to the middle. The same thing, you slide right and left and you're gonna be adding or taking away the effect that you're doing. And also in every panel that you access on Snapseed, there's this button up here on the right that you can just hold and see the before and after. All right, so now let's reinforce this sun a little bit. Let's do it using the brush. We're gonna have several different options here. Dodge and burn, exposure, temperature, saturation. So for this one, let's use the exposure. The idea here is we're gonna reinforce the sun a little bit. And in the Taj picture, you can see that it's coming from the left. 
So we're gonna add a little bit more brightness on the left part of the image and darken a little bit the right one. This is gonna help to make the picture a little bit more three-dimensional. But as you can imagine, the closer to the sun, the brighter it's gonna be. So we're gonna put a 0.7 exposure and we're just gonna brush it very, very lightly here on the left. And you can click the eye icon to see the mask that you're creating. And this was way too strong. So let's reduce it to 0.3 and just brush it again like that, leaving this 0.7 just really close there to the to the edge of the picture now we can see the before and after and it just adds this small glow on the edge that looks really cool so i'll just do it again and i'll do it like in a circle like this let's see how it looks now okay it's looking really nice but i still don't like the transition between one and the other so let's see now how it looks okay it's looking a little bit better right now so what we can do also is try to darken a little bit the back part of these towers minus 0.3 and just brush really really lightly here on the right here or here let's see the before and after and look how it looks much more three-dimensional right now you can always go back by choosing erase exposure you can check the mask to see what you've done and just erase it here i'm doing kind of fast but you can take as much time as possible to just make it really detailed and really precise all right so far so good so if you want you can just add a final touch which can be a text a symbol or something like that and there are several different fonts inside here. You can just pick the one that you like. I'll just go with L5, for example. And you can pick the color that you prefer. So I'll just go with this brown here. And here you can just type whatever you want, like the names or maybe some sort of quote. And if you wanna give a special touch to this, like putting the text as it was behind the Taj, you can just come here save this and do the same as we did for the double exposure just come back to view edits come to text brush and then just choose here 100 text brush it back in and really zoom in where it should be behind this area and just choose down here a zero and paint it out so something like this okay let's see it as a whole all right looks fine go back and that's it so now you've got a really cool double exposure picture that you can print and just surprise your loved one if this video was interesting or useful somehow if i saved your relationship please let me know in the comments like subscribe and share this video with whoever might need this tip and i'll see you in the next one ciao ciao what are you doing are you going to record this moment <laughs> 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 that's the card.